right up front for the Lakers Harvey and Campbell the forwards Vladi anchoring the middle and in the backcourt Van Exel and Christie and for the Clippers they were we wearing white uniforms tonight it'll be Dominique Wilkins and bought in the front line Spencer in the middle and Jackson and Harper are the guys well, Dominique Wilkins, he's just a tremendous player. He's averaging 20, his career average, 26 and a half points. That's the best among the active players in the NBA. So it's going to be a big test tonight for the Lakers uh, up front. Uh, Antonio Harvey will probably start off on him, and it'll be a test for the young man. I see his change in the lineup. They introduced Spencer in the starting lineup, but he's not going to play as a starter at least. They're going to start with Bob Martin, University of Minnesota product, a rookie. Last year played in the CBA, 7 feet, 255. He wears jersey number 42. Nobody's going to stop Wilkins. You don't stop the great ones. No, you just hope he doesn't go for 50 on That's you. right. Exactly right. All right, Magic's uh, wearing out a pack of Wrigley's. Ball is tipped. Controlled by Campbell into the backcourt of Van Exel. And in their purple uniforms, they come to attack down at the southern goal to our left on the simulcast. Van Exel gets the ball back from Vladi. Give him Back body, reverse slam dunk. Great play. Beautiful play. I don't know where Martin went on defense, <laughs> but he wasn't around. Well, Vladi liked it so much he took an extra couple of steps. Jack, yes, <laughs> Jackson's got the ball. Jackson with the ball in the front court. Jackson over to Dominique to tie it up from a 20-foot area gets it. Dominique Wilkins. He has not signed a contract with this team yet. He's still an unrestricted free agent. Now the ball goes into Campbell. He works on Wilkins. Turn, shoots over him. 15 footers way short. Good defense by Wilkins. The ball is taken on the hop by Harper. Harper in the front guard drives the middle, which he does proficiently. Gives under to Martin. Reverse layup by their center is good. And it's 4-2. to two. Well, Nice they, play by Harper. They start the game off with Dominique Wilkins uh, guarding Antonio Harvey. So it'll be interesting to see how much the Lakers make him work defensively. Van Axel takes the ball over to Doug Christie. Christie dripping the ball against Harper. Christie takes the ball in low to Campbell. Campbell against Martin. Campbell throws around Martin easily. Puts it up left handed, blows it, gets it back, puts it up. Foul this time. He'll shoot two. Martin obviously is not going to be able to guard him one on one. They're going to have to give him some help. Well, they're starting off the ball game and they said, Bob, uh, Elton Campbell's your assignment. See what you can do with him. And right away, it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to do it alone. So they're going to have to send the extra player, then have their defense rotate. Elton Campbell, the free thrower, on the year 180 out of 257, exactly 70%. He makes the first. He's averaging just under 13 points a game. Well, the last time Doug Christie was over at the here at the Sports Arena playing against the Clippers, he had a tremendous game. I believe he had 33 points that day in the day in which he made uh, five or six three-pointers. I waiting for the next one to be put up by Elton. That's too long. No good. Rebound is off to Bob Martin. Martin gives the ball to the point guard, and that's Jackson. Cross guard pass to Harper. Harper fires for three. Got it. Nice shot. Well, Ron Harper will pull up in three-point land. He's not bashful in the least bit. Harper now has made 67 this year. Here's the ball underneath the basket of the Lakers. They lose it. Harper's got it. Vladi falls down. Long pass front court to Jackson. No look pass back to Dominique. He fires. Three-pointer is good again. Nice play by the Clippers. Really moving the ball well. Much better than the Lakers. And the score as the Lakers fall behind 10 to 3. History of the ball. What takes it into Vladi. Vladi against Vaught. Cross court pass comes over to Van Exel. He gives to Christie. Christie holds it up. Now the ball into Campbell. He's the only go to guy inside so far. Out in front the pass to Van Exel. Four and a clock in low to Vladi. Throws up a five footer. No good. The rebound is off. It's taken by Martin. Front card to Jackson. Lob under to Wilkins. Lay it up and in. He could have slammed that baby if he wanted to. Well, they're just getting out and running down the floor. They're getting any shot they want. They're pulling up in three point land, even taking Ali Oop passes to start the game. The Lakers. Down by nine early. It's 12 to 3. 9.51 still to play in the first on the Lakers Basketball Network. Where you can get a two cheeseburger extra value meal for just $2.99. By Great Western Family of Companies, $38 billion strong. By Nike, you remind you to just do it. And by Home Base, ready to help. Well, the Lakers have made one out of five shots. The Clippers are perfect. Five for five. George Lynch is putting the ball game in a hurry. He takes uh, the place of Campbell. Campbell's out of the game. 
holding it up Van Exel. Lakers have been outscored 12 to 1 in this run. Van Exel dribbling, gives it to Christie. Better Christie shoot guarded it. by Wilkins with one on the clock. He fires for three. It's an air ball. That's a 24 second violation. And the Lakers are off to a horrendous start. We've played two and a half minutes and the Lakers have done nothing positive since the reverse layup by Vladi Divac. Well, the Lakers made their first field goal and since that time, of course, they've missed every shot since then. Five in a row and the Clips have yet to miss. That is the kind of shots they're getting yeah. to do. They're not high percentage shots at all. All right, we got Jackson takes the ball over to Dominique. Dominique bounces the ball back to Jackson. He comes in deep. He throws it up. He throws it in down the middle. Jackson. And it's 14 to 3. The Lakers are behind. We play with 9 12 left to play in the first quarter. Dribble drive. Christie might have stepped out of bounds along the base. He did. The reverse layup will not count. Christie stepped out of bounds along the base. That's why defensively, if you have a player that's going to drive, wants to drive baseline, if you get your foot near the baseline, there's no place for him to go but out of bounds. The Lakers led by that uh, with that field goal by Vladi in the opening 30 seconds, and they haven't scored a point since. Uh, with the ball in the front court, we've got the bounce pass no coming over to Harper. Harper's 20-foot jumper on the way. No, the rebound is off. Free ball. Lloyd Vaught wants it, and Lloyd gets it. Usually does when he wants it. He averages nine rebounds a game. Out to Harper. Harper dribble drive. Harper down the middle. Nice play. Put it up in his block. It was blocked by Antonio Harvey. And it comes off. It's taken by Vladi to Van Exel. Van pulls up but didn't take the shot. You can't pause like that. You're off the dribble. You've got to fire it if you're going to. The ball goes in low. Harvey's got it. Turn. Shoot. Double team. Blocked out of bounds. Nice play by Ron Harper. And they say it came down after the block onto the back of Harvey and out of bounds. Length the court pass to Wilkins. Slam dunk. No, but he was fouled by George Lynch. Wilkins almost fell down. Didn't take a tumble. Nice, nice. Well, there's a case where the Lakers, after the ball was awarded to the uh, Clippers, they just threw it again. They took the, the Clippers took the ball out of bounds, threw it the length of the floor. They get an opportunity to get a layup. They get fouled. They're going to shoot two free throws. That? Yeah, in the year this guy has tried 504, made 429. That's 85 percent. He makes the free throw. What's the most any Laker has tried free throwing this year? Well, let me take a look. 303. That would be. Vladi. Dominique who just fired his 505th. Second free throw is good. 85 percent. 16 to 3. And the Lakers trail it. Wilkins has got nine of the 16 points. Van Exel takes the ball in low to Vladi. Dribble drive, beats his man underneath, throws it up and throws it in. Well, if he ball. does that before the double team gets there, he'll be fine. Jackson with the ball in the front court. The Lakers trail it now. 16 to 5. The Lakers have been out rebounded 7 to 1 already. Now the ball goes in low to Harper at the baseline. He's guarded by Van Exel. Harper's much taller at 6 4. Turn, shoots over Van Exel. Van Exel got the ball. He blocked the shot. And the ball comes off to Vladi. Vladi gives the ball to Van Exel. Van Exel over here to Christie. He fires a 20 footer. That's not close. The rebound is back to Christie at the base. He drives down the middle. He puts his head down. He throws the ball away. But he's going to get bailed out. And they're going to give him two shots at the line, apparently, the foul on Boy Lott. Well, Doug Christie gets his own miss, then gets himself in a real traffic jam there, then trying to pass. They, uh, he gets fouled. They're going to give him two shots. It really looked like he was trying to pass that sure ball did. all the way. All right, Christie at the free throw line. So far this year, Christie is a 70% free thrower. The free throw is good. And the Lakers trail 16 to 6. Christie once more played at Pepperdine drafted by Seattle free throw is good then the Lakers traded him traded for him to Seattle virtually giving up uh, there he, uh, here's a bounce pass going over to Harper Harper dribble drive the base Harper comes in deep he's fouled hard as he went to the basket and he'll shoot too Sam Perkins is the guy they gave up and in return they got uh, the big guy that's now playing in New Jersey Benoit Benjamin who used to play here. Benoit had 26 points and 16 rebounds last night. Well, the key is to get Benoit to do it on an every night basis. He has the ability to do things like that but nobody's been able to get him to do it consistently. Free throw by Harper is no good. 16 to 7 is the score after the Lakers fell behind 16 to 3. Harper is 71 percenter. Played his ball in college at Miami of Ohio, drafted by Cleveland in 1986. As so often happens when a team gets beat by 50 points or so, like the Clippers did in their last ball game, their next game, they come out and have a much better game, much better effort because you just want to try to redeem yourself as best you can. Van Exel with the ball, brings it over here to Christie. Christie guarded by Harper, one bounce triple, 20 foot, two pointer on the way. That's no good. Rebound to Vladi, feeds in low to Lynch. He throws up a prayer, and I mean a prayer, but we got a foul call. 
I guess the prayer was enhanced by the fact he was hit on the arm by the defender, oh, and the oh, defender was Loy Vaught. The ball slips out of his hand, actually, but then in the melee, it's a foul that was called on Loy Vaught. So yeah. there was no shot attempted, ball out of bounds to the Lakers. It was after the shot, or whatever that was that Lynch had. Looked like a pickle squirted out of his fist. Here's the ball given off to Christie. Christie holds it up. Lakers trail it 17 to 7. Ball into Vladi. Vladi down the middle. Feeds it out of front. Van Exel for three. Got it. He had two three pointers last night. And the Lakers trail by seven. 17 to 10. Coming with the ball in the front guard, we got Jackson. Where's that familiar number 13 that he brought from St. John's with him? Then he went into New York's Knicks camp. Here's a screen by Vaught dribbling around at Harper. Comes underneath. Reverse layup on the way. Great play. Here's the pass to midcourt to Christie coming with Lynch. Wrap around bounce pass to Lynch. And it's pinning the ball on the backboard by Martin. I think they're going to call pin. There's a foul for sure. No, nope, there's no foul. No foul. Magic arguing his case with Jimmy Clark, and Magic lost the argument. Well, they're saying no goaltending. They're also, they are saying there was a foul on the play. Yes, of course. Christie with the pass. Lynch tries to take it up. Ball, that's hand, pinned. and glass. If it's ever the three of them together, that's uh, illegal. Yeah. And a very close call by the officials. They do call the foul as Lynch misses the first. Yeah. Elmore Spencer, who was announced as the starter, didn't start. Martin did. Now here comes Spencer. Well, George Lynch, 380 rebounds this season. 206 of them are on the offensive end. That's a remarkable percentage of offensive rebounds. Free throw is good, and it's 19 to 11, the Lakers trail. They trailed it practically all the way. Led two to nothing. Ball out in front to Spencer. Big, brawny guy. Now to John Williams. Talk about brawny coming off a sprained ankle. Here's a jump shot over by Wilkins. A 20-footer, no good. The rebound is off to Christie. Wilkins takes an awful lot of shots. He gets a lot of points. Down the ball in the front court. Van Exel for three again. Right away. Same spot. Van Exel knocks in two, giving him 117 in the year. The most any rookie ever made was 125. That was Scott. Nick Van Exel just came down. Mark Jackson had backpedaled and was way off of uh, Nick. So Nick said, you've got to respect my outside shot for the Lakers basketball network. Call weekdays at 1 800 Lakers LA. Score is 19 to 14 now after the Lakers trail 16 to 3. Another ball to be brought in by Harper with 17 on the 24 second clock. Harper gets it back, comes down the middle, feeds underneath nicely to John Williams. He puts it up to be fouled. Williams will go to the line and shoot two, and the foul is on Vladi Divac. Williams has lost about 60 pounds, and he's still a ponderous man. But I want to just say how great it is that he has lost that weight. He needs to be congratulated for taking care of the problem as best that he has as Vlade has picked up a foul on the arm of Big John. This is the 30th game of the season for him. The free throw is no good, giving him 22 made and 31 tries, 73%. He's averaging five and a half points. If they keep him in shape for next year, he'll be tough. Season high, 21 points. That was against the Lakers on the 14th of February. All right, the rebound is off to Vladi Divac, and Vladi gives the ball to Nick Van Exel, who's hit two three-pointers in a row to help the Lakers get back into it. Van Exel out of front to Christie, and Christie takes it over to George Lynch, another rookie. Now the ball into Vladi Divac. Young team in the club on the floor for the Lakers. Vladi's hook shot is an air ball. He threw it from 15, an air ball by two. Here's Dominique down the middle, underneath score. Dominique Wilkins. And his 21 to 14, his 11th point. First rule of defense, stop the ball. Nobody really did commit to Dominic, so he gets the layup. Boy, the Lakers got some young kids out there now. Van Exel, a rookie. Here's a rookie, Harvey. Harvey shot from 17, no. Another rookie, Lynch, gets the rebound and stepped out of bounds. Nice try. Nice try by George. And they've got a second-year man, Christie, out there. And Vladi's only in his fifth year, so this is young. Yeah, they, what they have on the floor right now is uh, very young. So let's see how they do with all that youth. The Lakers have uh, done a good job coming back in the rebounding department. They did trail 7-1. to one. Now they only trail 8-7 rebounding. All right, pass in low. Turnaround by Harper is good. They let him post up right in front of the basket. And he got an easy shot. Jackson made a good feed pass. Now Van Exel with the ball takes it over to George Lynch with the Lakers down by 9. In low it goes to Antonio. You can give it up, Antonio. He turns an 8-footer loose and it bounces short and crawled over the rim. He, and did, 23 to he had his mind made up yep. he was going to take that shot. You could tell that, couldn't you? All right, Jackson's got the ball. The Lakers are fighting a seven-point deficit here in the first quarter at the Sports Arena. I'm Chip Hearn with Stu Lance. And with the ball, we got Mark Jackson looking inside. Dominique's got it away from Lynch underneath. Oh, no, that's too hard a foul. That might have hurt him. 
That's too hard a foul. See if they give him a flagrant. No, they won't give him flagrant, but Antonio Harvey made sure Dominique was not going to score the basket. Uh, nice pass into uh, Dominique Wilkins, and then the help comes from Antonio Harvey as George Lynch trying to front gets beat. Antonio with the foul, Wilkins to the line. He goes to the line a lot, doesn't he? All right, the free throw is good. Anybody that moves around as much as he does should go to the line. He is some offensive basketball player. I'm not slur sliding his defense when I say it that way, but I just want you to know where his real power is. Yeah, his, Both his, free throws are good. I think everybody realizes that his strength is in his offense. 25 game. to 16, and that gives him 13 points here in the first quarter. Here's the ball to Christie. Ball goes in low. Vladi's got it against Spencer. Vladi goes to the dribble and gives to Van Exel. Van Exel trying to get away from Jackson. Does, gives it in to Vladi. Eight on the clock. Vladi dribbling. Vladi's in trouble. Vladi feeds it over to Lynch for the 15 foot jumper. In and out. No rebound. Vladi, yes. 25 to 18. Vladi worked his way into that offensive rebound very well. Did a good job of moving his, moving his body. Vladi's made three out of five field goal attempts tonight. The rebounds are 8-8. Eight, eight. Jackson dribbles down the middle, feeds to Spencer, and he brings it over to Harper. In low, it goes to Jackson, posting up on Van Axel. Turn, shoots over Van Axel, goaltending. Goaltending on Antonio Harvey. Uh, Antonio again coming from the weak side, trying to give help, and this time gets called for the uh, goaltend. Four minutes to play in the first quarter, and the Lakers trail it 27 to 18 on the simulcast. Van Exel with the ball, screened by Vladi. Van Exel goes the other way, loses Jackson, brings it out to Vladi. Vladi had a 20 footer, doesn't want to give the baseline to Christie. His 18 footer won't be close. The rebound is off taken by Harvey. Out in front of Van Exel, who goes high to get the pass. The drives down the middle. Underneath, great play, didn't make it. Beautiful play. Rebound to Vladi. Takes his time, puts it up, blows it, puts it up again. And scores it. Length of the court pass. Down there is Jackson. Jackson comes out at eight. Shot blocked and knocked out of bounds by Antonio Harvey, who streaked 94 feet to get there. Well, it's a good thing he did because the Lakers again did not respond well after they scored, and the Clippers threw it the length of the floor, but there's Antonio to get the block shot. All right, coming in the ball game is Dan Shays. I had a nice talk with him tonight, and he uh, said he'd like to play in the league again next year. All right, the inbound pass comes off. Jackson's got it, throws it up and in along the baseline as the Lakers went sound asleep. Now it's now 29 to 20. Lynch with the ball in the front court. Lynch looks inside to Harvey, gives him set out in front to Shades, who's replaced Vladi. Now the ball to Christie, in low to Lynch, punched away by, and out of bounds by. Nice play for the big fella, nonetheless, John Williams. Played at LSU. If you're going to dribble the basketball, I don't care how big you are, you have to bend over. If you stand up erect, it's easier for the defender to get a hand on it. Van Exel has the ball. Van Exel gets the three-point line. He tries another three. Shot that in a hurry. No good. The rebound to Spencer. Ticked away by Shays. Shays gives it, gets it back. Missed the shot. He gets it back. Puts it up. They knock it out of bounds. Shays is mad at Shays. You mentioned that Nick shot that from long distance. He didn't have a choice. The shot clock was down to two. He gets the shot off, and the Lakers did a good job of getting the offensive rebound. All right, waiting for the ball to come in. It comes in to Christie. He fires a two-pointer and hits it. A two-pointer for Christie from 22. And it's 29-22. The Lakers are down by seven. Shays tells me that his daddy and his mama look in on all the ball, ga ball games. Here's the ball in low. Spencer's got it. Drives on Shays. Goes behind the board. Tries to reverse it. No, but the foul's going to be called against the Lakers. Well, Danny Shays that time was playing too close to, uh, to Elmore Spencer. There's no reason to have to play that close and have the bigger player do the spin move. He gets underneath the basket, gets the foul, doesn't convert, but he'll be at the line to shoot two. Let's pause 10 seconds. Station identification on the Lakers basketball network. This is Nick Van Exel. You're watching the Lakers on KCAL TV, Channel 9, Los Angeles. Ellis is in the ball game. His first name is Harold out of Morehouse. He came out of the CBA. Free throw is no good. CBA he averaged 21 points, and he's played well here. He had a 29-point game. Falling down with the ball is Shays. Now the ball in the front guard to Lynch. He goes to the baseline, feeds underneath. Beautifully slam dunk. Harvey, great play between the two rookies. Great. Well, I tell you, the play that Lynch just made, first of all, to get himself under control after catching it, and then the nice pass. 29 to 24. The Lakers close it within five. Now we got Harper above the three-point line. Wilkins is out of the game. The ball underneath to Williams. He puts it up and scores it. John Williams pass to midcourt to Christie. Christie coming the other way. Throws a bad, horrible pass out of bounds. 
I ask uh, Danny Shays, do you ever remember your daddy playing? His father's name was Dolph, if you don't know. And he said, I do. I was about four years old, so I hardly remember it. I said, you missed a treat. Your father was a super, super basketball player and man. All right, Jackson's got the ball. Jackson holds, looks inside, looks still looking in there, goes to Spencer, and Spencer's got it. Spencer backing in on Danny Shea. Spencer is a ponderous person, tries to shoot it, I guess. He threw the ball right to Lynch. If it slipped out of his hand, Lynch has got the ball and gives to Van Exel. A minute and a half to play in the first quarter. And the score, 31 to 24. The Lakers trail it. Here's Christie down the middle, picking up, blocked by Spencer. Beautiful block. It goes back to Christie. Here's Van Exel alone. They didn't see him in time. Now they get it to him way out on the floor. Bounce in low to Lynch against a bigger man, Williams. Turn, shoot over Williams and make a 10-foot jumper with a quick release. Well, bigger by size width-wise, but not necessarily bigger in height. Uh, Big John Williams is not very tall. George Lynch shoots it right over. They list him at 6'9", and it's 31 to 26. Lynch is 6'6 six, uh, six and a half. Here's the ball knocked loose and a foul. Going to be called against the Lakers and Lynch. Well, I tell you, if uh, Big John Williams is 6'9", then George Lynch is 6'9", as well. Mark Jackson, with his trademark penetrating to the basket, gets fouled by Mark uh, by uh, George Lynch, and the Lakers over the uh, foul limit. That'll send Jackson to the line, and Bo Outlaw comes into the ball. Charles Outlaw is in. He's out of the University of Houston, 6'8", 210, never drafted, CBA. Pretty good basketball player. He's quick. Jackson at the line. Getting ready, I think, to shoot it. The free throw is good. Jackson's got six assists in the ballgame. He makes the free throw for his seventh point. And the Lakers trail it by six. He started all 74 games this season for the Clippers. Mark Jackson. He hasn't had his greatest year, but he's a fine talent. Fine. I thought last year was his best year ever. Next free throw is good. And it's 33 to 26. The ball is brought into Nick Van Exel. The Lakers have trailed it all away. Oh, they got by ahead in the opening seconds on a basket by Vladi, but after that, it was all here. Smith in the game for the Lakers. Turn, shoot, 17 foot jumper, no. Rebound is off. Lynch tips the ball to Shays, and Shays scores. Great play by Lynch. Here's the ball into Jackson. Jackson coming out of the backcourt. The Lakers trail it by five. Jackson underneath the outlaw. Outlaw puts it up. No good. The rebound is off. Lynch has got it. Pulled down pass to Van Exel. Comes in deep around Harper. Puts it up. No. The rebound is off. This grab by Jackson. Good ball game for the fans to watch. That was a pretty good try there by both players. Defensively, Ron Harper made a great play, and Nick Van Exel did a good job to get the shot off. The Lakers were down seven to one in the early going in rebounds. Now they lead. Here's a pass underneath the John Williams, and he scores. A wraparound bounce pass from Jackson. The Lakers now have out rebounded them since that big run early by the Clippers. The Lakers have out rebounded them. 14 to 1. Here's a Smith with the dribble. Smith holds it up, brings it over to Lynch. He's a good shooter from right there. 20 footer proves my point. Now we have got four seconds left in the period. The ball is into John Williams. He says, What will I do with this thing? He runs. That's one That's thing. Good. He fires. So good. And at the end of the first quarter, the Lakers, who did trail 16 to 3, trail by 5. But Tony Smith was the guy that got in the path of Big John Williams on that particular play that says, maybe I shouldn't have been on the Lakers basketball network. The Lakers trail the Clippers 35 to 30 at the end of one. The Lakers' next home game will be Wednesday night at the Forum, and that'll be against Seattle, and the fir first 10,000 fans will get a free mini basketball. Confidence of McDonald's. That's Wednesday night, Seattle at the Forum. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cap. 48 years of age. Now it's 35 to 30, the Lakers. Grant's got the ball in the front court to Harper. They give the ball to Williams. William lobs into Harper. Great play, and he scores on a slam dunk alley -oop. Beautiful pass by John Williams. Beautiful. Same type of play the Lakers run for Doug Christie. Christie was guarding Harper. Should have been aware. 37 to 30 is the score. That's 10 points in the ball game for Harper. The Lakers are trailing it. Now the ball out in front to Sedale. His 20-footer straightaway will be short. It is. The rebound is off. Lynch has got it. And we're going to have a foul called against the Lakers. They call it on Lynch. Lynch's not going to like this call, and he doesn't. Well, the shot was missed by Sedale three George Lynch battling doesn't look much like a foul to me That's just contact under the board non consequential contact. Let it go All right uh, out of the ball game will come Lynch when it's dead the ball knocked away from Harper by Christie And that gives Harvey a chance to come in and with three fouls George Lynch comes out and he's disappointed and I don't blame him because that third foul they charged with him was not a foul 
But from the angle that Danny Crawford had, it looked like it. All right, the ball into uh, the big man, Williams. He turns, goes around Shays with a fake, slam dunk. Well, that obviously that's a bad matchup for Danny Shays, so Kurt Rambis is going to come in. All right, with the ball in the front guard, we got Sadale Treat. Treat dribbling the ball against the hand check of uh, Gary Grant. Now the ball out in front to Shays. He's a good shooter from right there. 20 footer is no good. The rebound tip up in the air by Harvey, but it goes to Grant. Out of the backcourt they come. Long lead pass underneath. Harper can't get it. Just a little bit too long. Right idea by Gary Grant. The Clippers rebounding and pushing, doing an excellent job of beating the Lakers down the floor as Kurt Rambis comes in. Uh, he played against the Clippers on February the 15th. Had nine points on four out of six shooting from the field. Also pulled down five rebounds. Rambis will be our halftime guest tonight on radio and television. 39 to 30, the Lakers trail it. Smith with the ball. Tony's pass is very bad. Luckily that Christie pulled it down. Good catch. Christie gets it back from Smith. Shoots a two-pointer, no good. And the rebound is off the taken by Harper. Harper gives the ball to Grant. Gary Grant in the front court is now the point guard. Gary looks inside, gives the ball to Williams. Williams against uh, Kurt Rambis. Williams shoots a 20-footer over him and scores. John Williams looks very good. Well, when he's healthy, and when I say by healthy, no knee injury that he's sustained, and also the weight problem under control, he's a tremendous offensive player. Since he came in, he's made four out of five field goal attempts. Here's the ball to Rambis. The Lakers are down big by 11. Smith outside, 20-footer no good. The rebound hit by Outlaw, and it comes down to John Williams for the rebound credit. Now Grant to Harper. Harper penetrates, lays it off to Grant. Beautifully shot blocked by Harvey. Shot blocked again, this time stolen by Smith. A great play by Smith. Smith all the way in and puts it up. That's good. What a play by Smith. First the defense and then the offense. Oh, that's a sensational shot by Tony Smith. In traffic with the left. Grant's got the ball. Williams goes in to play the post. The ball comes over to the right side where it's put up by Ellis Novit. Out of the basket, a loose ball fouls against the Clips. Well, that's the off. one area of Harold Ellis' game that needs a lot of work. He is not a perimeter shooter at all. He's a tremendous worker. He works the offensive glass, runs the court, needs to work on his shooting as uh, Antonio Harvey started that last sequence off with a block shot, and it ended with Tony Smith making a very difficult left-hand shot over two defenders. Vaught goes out of the ball game. Harper goes out of the ball game. Ellis is in there at one of the guy positions. Grant at the other. Williams has also left the game. Dominique Wilkins returns. Now out in front, Rambus. Rambus holds it up at the top of the key. Gives the ball <laughs> to Antonio Harvey. Turned around. Nobody was guarding him. So it took him a while to say, hey, I better dribble and score. The defenders just ran from yeah. it. <laughs> He's got six points, and it's 41 oh. to 34. Here's Dominique back in. He had a great first quarter. Out to Gary Grant. He fires for two. No good slam dunk. Charles Outlaw. That's Charles Outlaw's game right there. That kind of rebounding by the Lakers ought to be outlawed. <laughs> he'll, he'll attack the glass as good as they as good as they come. Oh boy. Treat with the ball. Grant's on his shoulder. Treat stops, gives the ball to Tony Smith. 43 to 34, the Lakers trail. Now the ball in low to Antonio Harvey. Antonio wants to dribble. Antonio does dribble, shoots a 16-footer. He forced a shot very badly. Tries to steal the ball and commits a foul. Compounds his own mistake. Hits himself on the head. He was 6'11. Now he's 6'10 and a half. Well, the anticipating getting it back so quick. He reaches in, gets the arm, gets the foul, and then he's upset. But that last rebound basket by Charles Outlaw. Nobody near him to box him out, so he just showed off a little bit. 43 to 34, eight and a half to play in the first half. Then you'll meet Mr. Rambus. Pad pass by Grant, intercepted by Christie. 70-foot pass down the floor to Sedale. The defenders get back, then give to Harvey. He fumbles it out of bounds. Antonio is trying way, way too hard to do too many things. Well, <laughs> Magic keeps the frustration level up high, as he says, that's another easy one that you guys let go. The Lakers have four, that is, uh, yeah, four turnovers. Here's the ball to Dominique Wilkins. Wilkins out in front to Grant. Grant to the dribble, down the middle, in deep, throws up the bank, no, tipped up. Oh, tough luck by Ellis. Nice try, the rebound is off. Here we go the other way, bounce under to Smith. He's there, ducks his head, scores. Nice bounce pass by uh, Sedale three. Lakers get back to within seven. They ever gonna catch him? We got 7.45 to play in the first half. Gary Grant played at the University of Michigan. This is his sixth year in the league. 
who even with three fouls, Lynch will be brought back in by Magic Johnson, the coach. It's into William Wilkins. Jump shot, no good. Rebound hit, grabbed by three. Here they come. It's four on two. Three, bounce the ball to Christie. He rides it up. Reverse layup, no. Tipped up and in by Rambus. Great play. Christie did what he should do, make the rim an ally against the defense, but he couldn't get enough on it, and Rambus made a great follow. That's what it's about. And dribble drive, Grant feeds underneath. Fantastic play by Grant, getting the ball to Lloyd Boss. This is a heck of a good ball game. Well, the Clippers lulled the uh, Lakers into thinking they were going to call a timeout. They all relaxed, and they got a layup. 45-38. How you can relax at any time this late in the season after the poor season they've had is beyond me. Treat's got the ball, and here's a foul out in front by Ellis. <laughs> It happens a lot in the NBA team. I know. dribble to the front court and all the players start walking like they're going to the bench. The opposition says they're calling a timeout. And all of a sudden, they don't. Kurt Rambis says, I'll tip all those in on the Lakers basketball network. I'll brought to you by Toyota and their full line of quality cars and trucks. By LA Tech Light Gear, you've got to own the light if you want to own the night. And brought to you in part by AT&T, the official telecommunications company of the Lakers and the NBA. Well, a few minutes ago, Antonio Harvey went to the locker room probably for some repairs to some equipment or something. He'll be returning. Lakers on the board. They've been out-rebounding in six straight games, but tonight they're out-rebounding the Clippers 19-15. At the start of the game, it was 7-1 in favor of the Clippers in that department. All right, here's the ball to Tony Smith. Posting up inside is uh, Rambus against Lloyd Vaughn. Rambus backing in. He says in the interview that I did with him that he loves the game. He tried a little jump shot underneath. It wouldn't go. The foul is on Lloyd Vaughn. Vaughn does not like the call. It's his third foul. He's a hard-working kid like Rambus. I'll tell you what Matthew Johnson did during that timeout. He set that play up for Kurt Rambus. When was the last time someone called an offensive play for Kurt? And that makes Kurt feel good. Makes him feel like he's appreciated on the offensive end, just like on the defensive end and the rebound. Magic had quite a reaction to the uh, effort. I, I hope all the fans will watch that interview with Rambus at halftime. He was very cute. And uh, some of the things he said he meant. Out of the game, Loy Vaught. In comes Jackson. They got Grant. Jackson, they're going with three guards. The free throw by Rambus is good. Rambus made two. He's got four points. And the Lakers pulled it within five. They've never been closer than that since they got behind 16 to 3 to start the game. John Williams with the ball. 6.36 up to play in the first half. The Lakers will be off tomorrow, fly Monday morning over to Denver, play there Tuesday night, and have it for you on these same stations. Here's Harper dribbling. He's picked up by Rambus on a good jump switch. Now the bounce pass. Rambus steals the ball. He got help from Tony Smith. Now the ball to Sedale. Can the Lakers cut it down to three? Grant digging for the ball, doesn't get it. Three going to his left for the bank shot. He got it. Oh, he picked up that spot in the bank, didn't he? They leaned into yeah. it, too. 45 to 42. The Lakers come closer than they've been since the bus stop. Jackson has the ball. The Lakers about rebounding them 27 to 17 after getting behind 7-1. Dominique dribbles around Lynch and said, Lynch, rookie, stay with me. I'll show you some things. Don't foul out. I want to show you some things. <laughs> well, Lynch has the three. I don't think George wants to pick up that fourth, and that time it looked like it. Wilkins has got 15. And the Lakers trail at 47 to 42. Now Smith with the ball. Smith takes it in low to Rambus, turns on John Williams, dribbles right, puts his head down, throws it up and in. <laughs> John Williams is laughing, going down the floor. He said, I've never seen that move before. I'm going to tell you something, John. Nobody else has either. He had lived it. Well, it's been in storage for a while. <laughs> they haven't called Kurt's play anywhere else. Six points for Rambus now, and the Lakers pull it within three. Here's Harper with the ball. Harper gives the ball to Dominic. Good perimeter shooter, too. Like that, yes. Two-pointer. And it's 49 to 44 with his 17th point. 11 times since he joined this club in February, he's had over 30 points. Smith, 20-foot jumper. Tony's shot no good. The rebound is long. Oh, up high to get the ball in one hand is Harper. Long lead to Dominique. Forget it, fellas. Here he comes. Scores it. Great play. Beautiful. And it's 51 to 44. That's 19 points. They better call Kurt's number again. <laughs> <laughs> they better call 9-11 the way Dominique Wilkins is playing. Oh, boy. All right, out in front, we got Van Exel. Van Exel holds the ball. Van Exel looking for somebody to give it to, anybody. He looks at Rambus and says, not you, fella. Van Exel still got it. One on the clock. It's too late, guys. It's too late. That's 
what will happen if you don't get into your offense yeah. soon enough and they take you out of your first option. You don't have time to run another one. Five turnovers against the Lakers. Here's a pass the length of Florida Gary Grant. He gives to Wilkins. He comes underneath, throws it up, missed it, tips it up, missed it, gets it back, misses it, tips it up and in. How about that? An original shot and three rebounds. 21 points for Dominique and his percentage of field goal tonight. Very, very good on the year. Wilkins just shoots uh, field goals at 70. No, that's not true. I'll have to get you that one before. He's made eight out of 13 shots in this game on the Lakers Basketball Network. Visit your local Vons or Pavilion location. Look for the three dollar discount coupon redeemable at any Lakers home game this month. There's only three home games. Score in this ball game, 53 to 44. Dominique Wilkins leading the Lakers. Boy, yeah. he's looked good. Yeah, he is leading the Clippers with 21 points. Uh, he's got three rebounds. He's made, he's made eight out of 13 from the field. Screen by Rambus. Pick and roll to Rambus. Underneath Rambus scoring on a great pass by an excellent combined execution by the two of them. Well, Magic Johnson just diagrammed it in the huddle. They ran it to perfection and get a deuce. He better diagram a lot. He's only got five games left. 27 to 21 in the rebounding, and the Lakers trail on the scoreboard, 53 to 46. John Williams gives the ball to Harper, bad pass into Wilkins, it's off Wilkins' hand, and it goes to Van Exel. Lakers got a chance to pick up a couple of more and cut into the deficit. Van Exel over to Christie. Christie throws a horrible pass, it might have been kicked, let's see. It was kicked, it was kicked, reset to 24. But it was a lazy pass. Oh, awful. Uh, you have to really put something on the entry pass into the post, especially. Oh, yeah, you pass like that, you got to give some vitamins. <laughs> Here's a jump shot for three, Van Axel. His third of the game. How many threes has he tried to? Tried three, made them all. That's the, all the points he's got, nine points. Nick, shoot another three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the ball to Jackson. The Lakers have cut the deficit once more to four points. Now the ball in low to John Williams against Rambus. John turns down the middle, pump fake, pump again, puts it up, foul by Smith in the front end of a double team. Tony Smith. Tony had the right idea, but he's got to come from behind a little bit more. He's standing there, and he jumps a little soon. Wait till the offensive player goes up, and if he doesn't know you're behind him, you really have an excellent chance of getting the block. Magic is down here in front of me telling Smith, you did it wrong. You pound it down on the ball, reach in and pull back on it, and then you won't get the foul. Harper having a visit with Magic. Harper said, how's things, coach? And coach said, well, you're not so good. It just quit. Harper says it's nice to see you in, in their suit. Better than seeing you in a uniform, that's for sure. I'll say. They say that all over the league. That's right. That's what they said two years ago, and he wanted to come back. The free throw by Williams. One good, one no good. The rebound of Lynch. The Lakers trail at 54 to 49. Ah, uh, Magic's better off out of coaching. Heaven's sakes, enjoy life. All right, Lynch has got the ball. Baseline to Christie. Christie goes to dribble, gives to Smith. He's due to hit one. 17-footer, he did hit it. That's his third basket. He's made three in a row, but it's been quite a while since the other two. Now the Lakers pull it within three. That's the closest they've been. They've been there twice. It's the second time. Harper with the ball. Harper holds it up. Harper looks, brings it over here to Gary Grant. Magic is loved by everybody. Here's the ball into Williams. Turn loose an eight-foot jumper. No good. The rebound was Lynch's, but it's knocked away and out of bounds. Last touch by Rambles, they say. Magic's in front of us pleading. Talk to him, Magic. <laughs> Maybe your last speech. Well, in, in, in defense of Danny Crawford, he was standing three feet from the play, watching it, had his head down looking, and he says that it hit Kurt Rambis no, last. No. It's still in play. Did it hit Kurt last? No. no. Ball into Wilkins. Fall away. 17-footer. Has to have a bounce. Got two of them and wouldn't go in. We've got two and a half to play in an exciting first half. Here we come with Ben Exel. Ben Exel stops for his fourth three. He's got that field tonight. No. Rebound is a Smith. And a loose ball foul is called. John they Williams, call it again. The foul is called on Dominique, Dominique Wilkins. And Dominique says, I wasn't even in the play. I was racing down for offense. <laughs> So Nick Van Exel pulls up for three, doesn't miss it by much, but on the rebound attempt, they say uh, Dominic shoved Doug Christie. Dominic's only had 165 assists this year. Dribble drive Van Exel underneath. Great play, score! Oh, he's 
got 11 points. The Lakers are within one. Just to weaved, to play. weaved his way to the basket. Yeah, that was like Stockton or like a KJ. Timeout, 20-second timeout. 20-second, time out. 20 second, Sue. Well, 20-second timeout called by Bobby Weiss as his lead is down to one. 54-53 on the Lakers Basketball Network. 54-53 in favor of the Clippers. With the ball, we got Gary Grant. Grant is guarded by Van Exel. Two Grant two the ball three, is in his sixth year. Comes around a pick by Wilkins. Comes in low. Gives the ball to John Williams. Back to Grant. Out in front to Jackson. Good defense for the Lakers. Jackson in low. Beautiful pass. And there's a whistle. Got a bounce. Doesn't count. He stepped out of bounds. The basket does not count. It was still a beautiful play. It was nice. Uh, the way that Mark Jackson weaved his way down there and finds Dominique open along the baseline. But you step out of bounds first, it doesn't work. Every team's got to have one of these guys now that squirms his way down through the middle. One of those little fast guys. There's the ball over to Tony Smith. He fires for a three. That's no good. Rebound is off. Nice play by Dominique Wilkins. Dominique, of course, bigger than the guys he was jumping against. He is 6'8". He was going against Christie, who was about 6'5 and a half. Jackson with the ball, leading by one. We got 1.28 left to play in the period. Jackson down the middle loses the ball, but I guess he got the pass intentionally out to Williams. Now baseline, Grant hits a two-pointer, a 20-foot jumper. Nice shot by Grant. Christie comes the other way, pulls up and shoots his 20-footer. That's good. This is a very entertaining game. Very. Yeah, they're, they're running up and down. They've yeah. got 56 on the board already. Lakers got 55. Grant with it. Throws the ball away. Can they save it? Jackson does. Nice backhand. No look pass. Grant shot. No. Wilkins rebound. Yes. Puts it in. Foul. Great play by Dominique Wilkins for his 23rd point. Well, we talk about scores, and uh, you're looking at one right now. Dominique Wilkins is just a tremendous score. Averaging about 26, fourth best in the league. He gets another one here. He works for the shot after the miss. He rebounds, it, rebounds the miss, goes up, gets fouled. Three-point opportunity. Free throw is no good to rebound to Ramos. I'm doing a talk show as this game goes. I just had a call after he made that last one. What's his career high? High. Rebound off. Tip by Van Exel underneath to Smith, and Smith scores. 58-57. His career high is 57 points in a game. 57. I'm surprised he did in 65. I, I am, too. Really, I am. Now with the ball, Jackson. Jackson in the front court. Jackson dribbling the ball against Tony Smith. Jackson comes around to pick by Williams. Shoots way outside and hits that two-pointer. Nice place. I'll tell you, Williams had a big screen. And the Lakers trail by three. Here's Christie Franco. Almost lost the ball. <laughs> Grant's all over him like an ant. Now the ball, or even an uncle. The ball given off to Van Exel. Van Exel out in front near the 10-second line. Van Exel double team. What are you going to do, Nick? Throw it away. Pass, yeah. Saved by Lynch. Down the middle. Nice pass to Christie. Slam dunk. Lynch made a great play. First, just saving the ball on a bad pass, and then making yeah. the pass. They, Eight had, points the, for they had the Clippers scrambled anyhow. The Clippers were in a scrambled defense, and they paid the price. 60 to 59 the score and the Los Angeles Lakers are down by one can get the lead by halftime with five seconds left pass goes through the hands of Wilkins saved <laughs> that's a, that's one a thing that Harper knows he's flying out of bounds only thing he knows is that the basket is somewhere to his right <laughs> and behind him and he threw it at him. Plus he knew the clock was running out yeah. as well so he just threw it up toward the I basket. I love him I think 20 second time out the Lakers. 20-second timeout, the Lakers. One and seven, ten seconds left. You cannot advance the ball to midcourt. We'll be back. I'm going to go on the Lakers Basketball Network. How we doing? Coaching Arsenio Hall babysits little Irvin. There they are. Arsenio trying to steal some of that popcorn. I yeah. know what's the deal. <laughs> Magic set up a play here. 1.7 seconds. Let's see what it looks like. I can describe it. I'll get kicked off the air. Back <laughs> and almost banked in a 65-footer. Almost banked it in. Anyway, coming up at halftime, an interview. Don't miss it with likable Kurt Rambis. The score at halftime. The Clippers 60, the Lakers 59 on the Lakers Basketball Network. We're led in scoring by Nick Van Exel. He had 11 points. Uh, Vladi Divas, Kurt Rambis, and Doug Christie had eight. Antonio Harvey had six. George Lynch with five. For the Los Angeles Clippers, they were led by Dominique Wilkins, 23 first half points. 10 points for Ron Harper and Mark Jackson. John Williams had nine. Lloyd Vaught and Gary Grant had two apiece. The Lakers shot 46%, 25 out of 55. The Clippers, 25 out of 42, 
from the free throw line. The Lakers only got there eight times, making six. That's 75%, while the Clippers made eight out of 15. That's a miserable 53%. The Lakers now rebounded the Clippers 23 to 21. Five turnovers for the Lakers and eight for the Clippers. Score at halftime. The Clippers lead the Lakers 60 to 59. The Lakers led once, two to nothing. By the way, Christie played a pretty good half as a starter this year. He's averaging 15 points and five rebounds. As a non-starter, he's averaging about eight points and three rebounds. Wilkins, 20-foot jumper over Christie. No good. The rebound tipped by Lynch to himself. Oh, that's a nice athletic play. He saved it. And now Wilkins brings it out of the park to Jackson. Good play by Lynch. Nonetheless, underneath it goes to Wilkins. And it's broken up by Lynch. That's a fine play to Christie. He's going to the hole, baby. He goes underneath and blows it. Tipped up and in and won't count. Boy, does Lynch have tough luck on the basketball floor. He made a great play at both ends, and this one's called, and it should be called, offensive interference. But that's good work. He makes the defensive play, and then he runs the court yeah. and follows up the missed shot by Christie. They say the ball was still on the cylinder. It was. And it's a illegal play by George Lynch. Boy, they the basket. Does he work hard? Always. 60 to 59. There's the ball to baseline to Harper. His 20-footer no good. Rebound to Lynch again. Lynch gives the ball to Van Exel. Van Exel in the front court of the Lakers would go up for the first time since the he first deserves minute. He shoots a 20-footer and didn't get it. The rebound is hit by Campbell, who set out most of the first half. Here's Wilkins dribbling. Carried it over on the dribble. They didn't call it. They thought it was hit, I guess, by an opponent. Jackson grabbed it and travels with it. Wow. I thought sure they'd call carrying yes. it over, didn't you? I thought they would, too, because the ball really got away from Dominique, and normally that's a, an illegal dribble, but they're saying probably that it was tipped, and that's yeah. why it got away. That's the only thing they could rule. All right, here's Van Exel coming down the floor. Van Exel on the Lakers here in the second half. After tonight, only four games left. The ball goes in low to Campbell, backing in on Martin. Campbell underneath, puts it up, and Martin fouls it. You know, or did no, they just call a block. Block shot. Yeah, they didn't call no, a block. Neither team has scored yet, Chick. So at this point, this year, between the four and a half games these two teams are played, each team has scored 484 points. That's, right on the nose. You talk about close. And the Lakers lead the series three games to one. Here's a jump shot by Tony Smith that's too long. The rebound is to Eldon Campbell. Campbell down the middle. In the air. Eight footer. He forced it. Didn't get it. Here's the foul. And Campbell. Campbell pushed off. Eldon's mad, disgusted, regusted. That's his first foul. <laughs> disgusted, regusted. Well, he missed the shot. He thought he got fouled, and then he took out his frustration on uh, Bob Martin, just shoved him, and picks up the, uh, the loose ball foul. They say here in the official stats of the first half that he didn't play any minutes in the first half. If I didn't see him out there, there was a ghost. Harper's got the ball. He's two. There's the ball thrown away. There goes Van Exel. Give it to him, Doug. Van Exel's underneath for the left-hand layup. And the Lakers have the lead. Well, the Clippers come out. Neither team playing really well right now, but the Clippers especially shocking. Got a timeout call or what? Well, the 24-second no, mark is uh, messed up. It jumped all the way down to 14. That was a good giving up decision by Christie when he did it because there was nobody to catch Van Exel. You keep it, you don't know what's going to happen with it. Well, Dominique Wilkins was right behind Doug Christie, so if he keeps it, I think Dominique makes the play on the ball. Yeah. The last Laker lead was 2 to nothing at the outset of the game. Vaught's got it, brings it out in front to Harper. Harper dribble drive on Smith, comes in deep. Lynch grabs the ball, and Harper fouled him. Great play by George Lynch again. He stole the ball. Lynch is just He's everywhere. remarkable. I just can't wait to see him in training camp next year. I can't wait. I tell you, the guy's everywhere. He just has a feel for the game. He just knows how to play it. I hope they take me with him so I can watch. Now it's 61 to 60. Van Exel's got the ball. In the front court, it comes to Christie. Long pass over the baseline to Van Exel. He's against a short, bigger man, Harper. Harper's pretty quick. Van Exel around him, and the foul is going to be called on Harper. Throw that up. Oh, yeah. He throws it up when yeah. he hears a tweety, tweety, yeah. tweety. He shoots two free throws. He was in the air. He had the ball on his hip, and he heard the whistle, and he still tried to pass. That's where you that's throw a, a little bit of a hook shot. Anything, get it up toward the basket. Yep, that's the rookie, though. Not just that one. A lot of rookies. You don't get Magic Johnson and Jerry West coming into the league every night. Here's the ball over to Christie. Christie goes to dribble. He's around his man. He's underneath. Puts it up. Nice block shot. And then Lynch misses a layup and a rebound. Lynch gets it back. Shoots a 10-footer. Missed that. Rebound is to Lloyd Vaughn. Now the ball given off at the baseline, to, uh, that 10 second line to Jackson. Here's Harper crashing underneath, throws it up, no, gets it, puts it back up, twice and scores. Nice play, very bad rebounding by Campbell and Lynch. Well, I think Lynch that time was blocked, boxed out a little bit. He couldn't really make a real good effort at it. 
Gamble could have. 62 to 61. The Lakers are down again. Now Van Exel with the ball. Van Exel looking for somebody to give it to. Van Exel gives it off to Eldon Gamble. Great game last night. Dribble drive. Nice move. Throws it up. Didn't come close. That was a prayer when he threw it up like that. Ball stolen by Lynch. <laughs> Dribble drive Lynch. Underneath Lynch. Throws it up. Didn't get it. He's knocked down hard. I hope he's not hurt. He's I'll not. Tell you, he is everywhere. How many number 24s are out there in blue? Boy, I, I'm <laughs> saying four or five each time Jeez. down the floor. And you know what I like about him? He's tough. He gets knocked down. He gets hammered. He yeah. gets battered. Never even grimaces. Throwback from the old school players. Yeah. The old, the older players used to do that. Get knocked down. You just get up, play basketball. These guys these days want to get up. want to fight every two seconds as uh, Eldon Campbell leaves the ball game. In coming in for him, Danny Shays. Didn't any of his official stats each show the number of minutes he played? Not the one that I have. Not the one that I have. Although, the one that I have is messed up completely. Okay. Well, here's it. another one here. They got him down with two minutes. That's uh, about right. In the first uh, quarter. Two minutes in the first quarter. And so he's played uh, uh, three minutes here. Five minutes for the game. The free throws by Lynch. One good, one no good. And the Lakers catch him at 62. Lakers could take the season series four to one. They've got it clinched. Uh, three two is the worst it could be. Pass inside broken up by Van Exel. And uh, Dominique says to Jackson, that's the thing I want, that high pass. Then they can't intercept it. You know, Doug Christie got the start tonight, and boy, he's had to work hard. He's going against Dominique Wilkins. A good training for him. Dominique backing him in. Dominique turn, shoot. 12 footer, beautiful shot. When he's in the air, he takes such poise and time. But he's so high in the air, he can take that time. <laughs> I'll say, he's got 25 points tonight. And Van Exel with the ball in the front court. Van Exel looking, brings it over to Tony Smith. Down by two. 20-footer by Tony. Doesn't get him back. Rebound Lynch underneath. He falls down. He grabs the ball. They dive on him. Jump ball. What an effort. What an effort is right. Harper's got him pinned, and he'll help him up. Harper's one of those guys that loves to play. You know, Stu? Yeah, Harper has a lot of fun playing. And speaking of having a lot of fun playing, George Lynch is having a lot of fun, too, this season. After he got into the lineup, he's shown why Jerry West said he was the 12th player chosen in the NBA last season. Lakers will draft a little higher than that this year if they don't get the first, second, or third pick in the lottery. It's up. Lynch out jumps his man. is tipped. Jackson's got it. Look out. Jackson has it stolen by Van Exel. Oh, what a play. Smith and Van Exel were battling Jackson. Jackson did a heck of a job by himself. Christie for three. In and out. No tough luck. Rebound is off taken by Loy Vaught. Loy Vaught. And he clears the ball to Jackson. Jackson front guard back to Vaught. Brings it over to Martin. Martin out to Harper. Harper behind the three-point line. Harper looking for somebody inside. Still looking. 10 on the 24 goes to Vaught. Back to Harper. Three-point country. Drive down the middle. Give the ball to Jackson. Penetrate. Over to Vaught. 17-foot jumper. Nice play. Very nice. They're up by four. 66-62. In the game for the Lakers is uh, Shays. Did Flotty start the second half? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Here's the ball to Shays. Shays holds it up. Drive in low. Turn. Fake. Travel. The back of the right hand of Christie is bothering him. So we've had uh, not many minutes from Vladi tonight, nor Kamba. Vladi played nine in the first half. Didn't hasn't played yet in the second. Nine of a possible 24. Lakers have two turnovers this quarter. The Clippers have five this quarter. Jackson takes it into uh, Wilkins down the middle, throws it up, won't go down. Rebound is off. Smith won it. Look at that. Wilkins go after it. Didn't get it. Ball given off to Van Exel. Van Exel goes with a pass underneath to Lynch. He's made a bad pass. One of the few bad plays he's made. He, he tries to get back, it back. Though. He did get it back. Blows the ball. And it goes in and out off the shot of Shays. Rebound Smith. Throws it away to Vaught. Somebody tackles somebody. Look out. Foul. That's a good call by the official. I'll tell you why. It was getting so hectic there. Lloyd Vaught started to swing in his arms. Yep. And uh, when you start swinging your arms, you elbow somebody, you get some players mad. And then that's when the fight starts. So the officials, uh, quick whistle, call the foul. Tony Smith almost got decapitated on the play. <laughs> 6.43 to play. Lakers down by four. The Lakers Basketball Network. Laker basketball brought to you by Toyota's full line of cars and trucks. By Great Western's family of companies. Great Western will always be there. By Miller Lite. Great taste, less filling. Can your beer do this? And by Taco Bell, and only Taco Bell has that Taco Bell taste, so trust the border. Dennis Manishin and Raymond Ritter are statisticians. Score is 66-62 in favor of the Clippers. And news just comes to us from John Black, our publicist for the Lakers. 
Antonio Harvey suffered a rapid heartbeat late in the first half, and they have taken him to Sentinella Hospital for overnight tests. Here's the ball to Wilkins at the baseline. So let's uh, say a little prayer for Antonio. I'm sure it's, uh, yeah, yes. you don't know, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but let's hope let's that hope. it's nothing serious. Right. A rapid heartbeat, and he, uh, I think, was the one that recognized it and uh, reported to the trainer, and now he's over at Sentinella. Right, Wilkins got the ball to Harper, nobody guarding him, and he shoots a 16-footer. Smith got lost out of the basket. And the Lakers now give up six in a row to trail by six. It's 68-62. We're in the third quarter, 6-17 to play in a period. Ball out in front of Sedale, three to is in there now with Van Exel on the bench. Back to Sedale, going to his left. Covers up and give the ball to um, Christie. In low to Camp. Wow. He ran with the ball. He didn't call him. Smith, six in the clock to three. Christie with four in the clock. Christie... One in the clock, they don't get it on. That's a shame. I would like to say that the defense was great, but it wasn't. It wasn't a great defense. It was the lousy it, offense. Exactly. And it's happened a lot recently where the Lakers have not gotten a shot off uh, due to the 24-second violation. Everybody was out on the perimeter. The one time that Campbell handled the ball, he fumbled it inside. Pass underneath, and tenor for Wilkins, he's got it, and he's fouled in the act of shooting. Well, the rule is defensively, you always must see side, keep, keep sight of the basketball. Dominique Wilkins was at the low post away from the weak side, and the defenders had their head turned, so Mark Jackson just throws the ball to him, and in the act, he gets fouled, and uh, now, for the first time this half, Vlade Dibots will be checking back in. Wilkins looks for his 26 point and gets there. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Lakers basketball network. This is George Lynch. You're watching the Lakers on KCAL TV, Channel 9, Los Angeles. Six out of seven free throws made by Wilkins as he makes them both. The Lakers are down by eight. They've seven got to 62. Lakers only have four points in this quarter. I thought you were going to say four men on the floor. <laughs> Scared me. It just looks that way. Yeah. Three's got the ball. Four points in six and a half minutes. Wow. Now the ball into Vladi who comes in. Give the ball to Street. Going to his left. His 20-footer is good. That might be the best scoring play from a perimeter shot that the Lakers have in their repertoire. Well, he's the best perimeter shooter they have, so I agree. They Anything that involves a Sedale in is going to be probably their best scoring play. That particular play. play. Yeah, they run that very well. A little bit of a screen. All right, it's into Wilkins. Wilkins holds it up. One-on-one -on -one now against Christie. That's what he wanted, one-on-one. -on -one. Out to Martin, nine in the clock. They take it over to Vaught, seven in the clock. Vaught's in trouble in the corner. Throws the ball in low. Jackson throws it up. Has to have a bounce. Got three. Didn't go. The rebound tipped by Martin. No good. Rebound to Vaught. That's good. Nice rebounding. Nice rebounding. Magic's chasing Danny Crawford, the referee. 72 to 64, and the Lakers are having trouble here in the third quarter, making any kind of a run with points. Pass inside, and the foul is going to be called. Lloyd Vaught, look out, Lloyd, you'll get a T. Lloyd Vaught starts to charge the referee, not to hit him or anything, but to scream at him. And his coach, Bobby Weiss, said, get away, get away. Uh, that's Lloyd's fourth personal foul. He's going to have to leave the ball game. He gives them a lot of things uh, defensively, rebounding. Uh, John Williams is a fine all-around player, but not the rebounder defender that uh, Lloyd Vaught is. The Lakers in this quarter have uh, six points. Lynch, two. Make it eight. <laughs> Sedale, three to get. Sedale, three hits another jumper. Yes, While indeed. I was counting the scorebook, all right, 72 to 66 is the score. And with the ball in the front door, we got Jackson. Jackson looking for Harper. Gives it to Harper. He's around Smith. He's in deep. He's underneath. He throws the ball away, and Campbell's got it. It's a three-on-one. In the middle of the street, underneath the Smith. He's hammered hard. Jackson made sure he didn't score. Very good play by Jackson. Nothing dirty. That's good basketball. Good play on the ball. Exactly right. That's a good play by Mark Jackson. As the Lakers get the turnover, Sedell three to Tony Smith. Tony tries to ride it up. He does, but he gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Raymond Ritter and Dennis Manishian are fine statisticians tonight. This 74% free thrower misses a mile. That makes it a very good foul. Yes, I'll say. Timeout is called. Clippers took the timeout, too, and they lead by six. The Lakers will have a free throw when we come back, and Bobby Weiss ponders what's going to happen with this franchise. He's been here one year. Game from Atlanta. Boy, Atlanta's made tracks this summer, or this winter, haven't they? This is the Lakers basketball network. What's on tap, Stu? Well, in a battle for supremacy in the NBA, Seattle beats Houston 100-97, to Phoenix 96, and San Antonio 94, Atlanta 123, Philadelphia 94. Shooting in the uh, third quarter so far, the Lakers have made 3 out of 14, 
the Clippers have made five out of 12, 42 percent. One more free throw coming to Smith as the Lakers trail at 72 to 66. Stu, it's got to be more than a coincidence. The Lakers are coming out soft, or let's put it another way, they're unable to score in either the third or the fourth quarter in the last six or seven games. Well, I think because they've increased again their intensity uh, defensively and running the ball, that could be the key. All right, the ball uh, after the free throw is good by Smith. Here's a pass underneath the basket to Harper. He's got it, puts it up, no, tipped by Smith. It goes to Wilkins. He comes underneath, throws it up, no, good with an acrobatic shot. Rebound tipped by Vladi to Christie. Christie's got it, goes in deep. They take it away. Christie, that's one of the bad plays that he makes too often. Here's him down the middle. Dominique knocked down hard by Vladi. Williams will help Dominique up. Dominique has taken some hard shots in this game, real hard. Now, that one was close to flagrant, but they're not... <clears throat> I think they're going to call that one. I mean, Vladi just stood and did that one. I think they're going to call that one flagrant. Yeah, that they are. Flagrant yeah. foul, two shots plus the ball. And that's a good call. Yeah. As twice tonight, Vladi has really flattened him. The first time it was not called. Dominique has made six out of seven free throws. Seven out of eight. He's good in every facet of offensive basketball. In fact, I should say he's great. He led the league in scoring in 85-86. He averaged 30 and 3 tenths points a game for a very poor Atlanta team. Think of that. Magic doesn't think it was flagrant. That's what he's telling you. The referee falls over our cameraman. Nice going, Smith. Good job, Vic. <laughs> Dribble drive, Harper down the middle, beats it out of front. Three-pointer by the big man, and that's Wilkins. 76-67. That gives him 31 points. Okay, Dominic, you can sit down now. You've got your 30. <laughs> that's the 12th time since he joined them in mid-February. 12th time that he's had over 30. Smith with it out to Campbell. Campbell's pass is just man. horrible. Knocked down by Martin, picked up by Harper. And the Lakers trail 76-67. Jackson right side to Harper. Comes underneath, throws it up. Nobody was fouled, and he'll go to the line. And the foul is on Christie. The Lakers offense uh, acts like it knows the season's over. Well, again, you keep turning the basketball over, you're going to get the opposition in the transition. And uh, Ron Harper in transition is very good. He gets fouled. He's at the line shooting two. Eight points the Lakers have scored in this quarter. Great throw is no good. We have played eight minutes and 42 seconds. Eight points for the Lakers. Well, that's pretty pathetic. Harper, 14 points, seven rebounds, six assists. Great throw, good this time. And it's 77, 67, a 10-point lead. The Lakers' biggest deficit was at 16 to three to start the game. Then they overcame that strip of short live to lead. The ball in low to Lottie. Lottie backing in on Martin. Lottie throws a horrible pass, but Smith goes under. Signals for a fair catch. He's got it. Street goes to his left. Street guarded by Martin. The ball out to Lottie. Lottie dribble drive. Lottie down the middle. Puts it up and in. I was sure they were going to flatten him in retaliation that time, but they didn't. 77 to 69. Very often, yeah, they'll get a payback on the one like that. Eight-point ball game. 2.44 to play in the third. Lots of time left here tonight. Williams with the ball. John Williams drives on Campbell, stops, 16 footer, no good, nice rebound by Vladi, a chance for the fast break, but he goes to the dribble instead of passing it. Now the ball given to Tony Smith. Smith cross court to three, 20 footer by three to be too long. Rebound is to Christie, rather Christie wanted it, is taken by Wilkins in front of him, who boxed out well. How many rebounds Wilkins got, Dennis? Eight. Jackson's got it. Jackson's 20 foot jumper is good. And Jackson makes it 79 to 69. Smith with the ball coming out of the backcourt. They have not used James Worthy at all tonight. Smith probably with the ball. Won't. Probably won't. Ball goes in to Campbell. Back to Tony Smith. Back into Campbell. Campbell has a punch loose. They double team him. Campbell's pass is to Christie in low. Christie goes up and is fly swatted out of bounds. Didn't go out. Sent back air mail by Wilkins. Jackson with it. Over to Harper. Three pointer. Good. the Lakers a trail 82 69 again a 13 point lead 18 points for Harper 31 for Wilkins Stu will be back in a minute on the Lakers basketball network
The first 10,000 fans who attend Wednesday's Lakers Sonic game at the Forum will receive a free mini basketball. Compliments of McDonald's. So the Clippers have outscored the Lakers in the last eight minutes and 40 seconds, 20 to seven. The score was 62 to 62, and now it's way out of sight. Let's see what the Lakers do about getting back into it. Campbell dribbling, he's followed by John Williams. Well, the one and thing that Eldon does when he wants to dribble is he still stands up too erect. And John Williams tried, tried to time that one very close to making a clean steal. The Lakers in this quarter, the Clippers haven't had a big quarter. We're, uh, we've played ten and a half minutes. They only got 22 points in the quarter, but the Lakers only have 10. Yeah, 20, I'll take that 22 over that 10. I'll say. <laughs> I take 12 over 10. <laughs> or 11. Yeah. <laughs> or 10. Campbell's free throw is good. Campbell has not had a field goal. He gets his second point. Rebounding, Campbell has had two. He had two in the game last night also, but that was in 36 minutes. Eldon's free throw is no good. The rebound is off. Field goals. Eldon is nothing for five tonight. De Hare is in the ballgame now. The rookie out of Seton Hall. 15th player picked in the draft last summer. He's 6'4", 190. Not a bad-looking prospect. Ball goes into John Williams. He's against Eldon Campbell. John holds it up, brings it out in front to Martin. He takes to De Hare. D-E-H-E-R-E. De Hare. Jackson dribbling the ball against the over the look shoulder. No look pass under the hair. His air ball shot no good. But we had a 24-second violation. The ball didn't hit anything when he shot it. You got to hit the rim. Used to be just if you hit the backboard or the rim. Now Mark, you got to hit the rim. Mark Jackson, very clever yes, pass. Yes. He threw that blind pass and uh, the 24-second violation, but not because of him. All right, coming to the ball in the front guard, we have got Tony Smith. We're in the final minute of the third. Dribble drive, Vladi down the middle. Turn, throws it up backwards. Smith got mad, pushed Vladi out of the way. Ball down the floor to Wilkins. Here he comes, under he goes. Puts it up, couldn't hit the rim. We found by DeHair is good. DeHair just off of the bench. And the Lakers trail by 14. That's the biggest trail of the game. Street to Tony Smith. Tony Smith dribble inside the three-point line. Takes it into Vladi. Double team, back to Smith, the three. Street holds it up out in the perimeter. Streets against Wilkins. Gives the ball to Campbell. Campbell puts up his sixth shot of the game. Missed the shot. He's nothing for six. The rebound is off. Thrown away and out of bounds because it was defensive by the Lakers. It'll go to the Clippers. 22 seconds left. The Lakers another poor showing in a third quarter. It's become almost repetitious. 18 seconds left to play here in the period. Mark Jackson with the ball. The crowd has been announced as capacity, 16,000 and five. Third sellout of the year here. Two of them by the Lakers. Pick and roll under to Wilkins. He puts it up, throws it in. Great shot. He was hit as he shot it. Inbound is Christie to three at the buzzer. He fires for three. Didn't get it on the run. And as the quarter ends, we've got a 33-point total school for Dominique. Well, Dominique has really been in control offensively. He's done pretty much what he's wanted. And the Clippers have taken control in this third quarter. They lead it by 16 on the Lakers Basketball Network. Quarters, the Lakers were out, scored 35 to 30 in the first. But in the second, the Lakers outscored the Clips 29 to 25. But in the third, that was the story so far. 26 to 11 in favor of the Clips. That's why we have a total of the Clippers ahead by 16. In the third quarter alone, the Lakers made 11 points. Dominique Wilkins made 10. Oh, well, they can brag. They can say they outscored Dominique. <laughs> Ivan Exel's got the ball in the front court. Van Exel holds it up. If they leave Dominic in there long enough, he's able to go for 50 tonight. Now the ball into Rambus. Rambus, the biggest man in the floor for the Lakers. High arc, 16-footer. No, the rebound is off. Lynch had it. They knock it loose. Christie's got it. Can they knock it loose from him? No, he's going to force a shot. That's no good. Tipped by Rambus. No good, but a great try. The rebound is off to Wilkins. The midcourt to John Williams. Big John rumbles down the floor. The ball goes over the baseline to Vaughn. His 15-footer is good. But if you notice how easy and where the shots are coming for the Clippers and how hard the Lakers are having to work in their half-court set. Remember how uh, many layups have been made against the Lakers yeah. lately? That was not a layup there. We don't count that. But they've had 21 layups tonight in three quarters. But that's it, almost 50% of their yeah, point production. Right. In the Rambus. Out in front of bad pass, but Christie saves that. Christie over to Van Exel. Van Exel's hit three three-pointers. Comes in deep, throws a scoop shot up. No rebound. Rambus, no. Rebound is obviously taken by Vaughn. 
Buck gives the ball to Jackson. And it looks like uh, the Lakers are going to have to rally very sharply here or have a 3-2 seasonal reading. The Lakers win the city series. Now the ball out to John Williams. Williams against Rambus. Bounce it over here to Jackson. Jackson not looking for many shots. Here's a guy that is. Wilkins has got it. Dribble underneath. Puts it up. That's a great try. Rebound is off to Lynch. Nice play by Lynch. Wilkins thought he was fouled. But Van Exel loses the ball in the dribble. Jackson's got it under to Wilkins. Reverse layup. Missed it. Rebound is to Vaught. Blocked by Rambus. Foul Rambus. And uh, be careful. Be careful, Dominique. You got a nice night. Why get a foul? Technical. Now he, got, he was after Jimmy Clark. <laughs> Clark wouldn't stop, so he goes after Danny Crawford. Said, what, what do you guys listen to me? They brought, everybody seems to be ignoring him. So he said, I'm going to find one of these officials that will listen and give me a technical if necessary. The Lakers had an 11-point quarter tonight in the third. Their 10-point quarter, the lowest of the year, February the 6th. That was over in the first quarter at Utah. Funny how you remember such things. They're hard to forget. Two free throws by Lloyd Vaught is good, and it's a 20-point lead. In the second half, the Lakers have made 11 points. Hey, that'll get you down by 20. It was 62 all, so the Lakers have been outscored 28 to 8 in this latest run. Here's the ball knocked away by Rambus and out of bounds. It'll come out to the Clips. James is sitting on the bench because Magic says, don't go in, James. The ball is brought into Van Exel. Van Exel for his fourth three of the game. He got it. Four threes. Hey, one thing he can do, he can catch Scott, all-time rookie. He got, got four threes tonight. Gives him 119, doesn't it? Well, he's, he's on pace. He's got 16 points tonight. He still has 10 minutes left in this one to get a couple more. Yeah. Nice him up. All right, here's the Wilkins. Wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. How you feel, Christy? I know how you feel awful. That's the way I'd feel, too. Grant's 20-footer, no good. A rebound is tipped and taken by Rambus. Rambus holds it up. Gives the ball to Van Exel. Van Exel coming to the front court. Van Exel, long pass down the floor to Smith. Smith, 17-foot jumper is good. Smith. The Lakers start their rally. Don't go away. They're only down by 15. Nine and a half to play. Neither team showed a, any uh, security with a big lead so far. So, although the Lakers haven't had a big lead, the Clips have had it a couple of times. All right, here's the ball to the hair. Dribble on Smith. Comes underneath. Throws up a wild shot. Let's see what we got. A loose ball foul is going to be called against Boy, Bart. the Billy Vaught. That's five. He gave Kurt Rambus just uh, enough of a shove to send him about 20 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Rambus just grins and says, I like to get guys mad at me. I, I, I love that interview he gave tonight. There were, that was not rehearsed, folks. That was just him talking. Van Exel with the ball. Van Exel over to Rambus. In low to Lynch. Pivots beautifully away from two men and blows the layup. But sit by Christie. That won't go in underneath. And the rebound is off and out of bounds off Rambus. Wow. Lynch misses the layup. And then Christie got a tough break on his tap. Well, they take Dominique Wilkins out of the game. See if they can give him a little bit of a rest. <laughs> He's got 33, so... They, they seem like they don't need him. Ron Harper comes back, 18 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Going out of the ball game with 33 points is Wilkins. Some kind of, here's down the middle, De Hare slammed up. Wilkins had hurt his right wrist in the game in Seattle the other night when they got beat by 49. And it's uh, hurting him a little bit tonight too. Didn't seem to bother him much though. So I guess if his wrist wasn't hurting, he'd had 70. Van Exel with the ball is 92 to 75. And that's a lot of fun against uh, Gary Grant. Whistle back under the basket. And we have got the referee telling DeHare, hey, you're a rookie, don't act like one. He got caught holding. DeHare gets the foul. The, we get uh, Christie out of the game for the Lakers and back in as Sedale, three. This will be the Lakers' sixth consecutive loss if it happens. Jimmy Clark is talking to Bobby Weiss. Weiss is a very, very nice gentleman. I've liked him for years. He was down, he was down, uh, yeah, he's from Penn State. He was down in uh, San Antonio. He was waiting for the Admiral to become eligible to play in the league. And uh, the Admiral comes down there, and so they release Weiss, and he got the job in the last. Well, Lloyd Vaught just fouled out, and when he got his last, that last yeah. foul, he slammed the ball down. Lucky for him, it went up and hit the rim, so yeah. it didn't go very high. That's if right. That would have gone past the rim and kept going as hard as he slammed it down. He, he might have gotten a technical, but if, since he fouled out, they may have let him go. I don't think any of the three saw it. They might have heard it. I heard it. It shook that backboard, that's for sure. Okay, all the people down the end of the building there with balloons. 
I hope they're balloons. If those are snakes, I'm leaving. <laughs> Trying you, to distract Kurt Rambus from uh, making the free throw. They don't know that just let Kurt shoot it. They, he can't see that far. Yeah, I mean, they're 20 feet away. Both free throws are good. He can see 15 feet. And it's 92 to 77. Poor oh, Kurt. Why do we pick on him? I gotta pick on somebody. <laughs> there aren't many left. He's got four championship rings. The hair with him. The hair working a two-man game with Williams and illegal defense. Yep, got to call it. Uh, it the, it's called on Rambus. You got to wait until the ball is in the air before you go double team. Kurt went too soon, and double teaming a man without the ball is illegal. Williams brings the ball to Grant. Eight minutes to play. The hair from 22 hits the front of the rim, comes off to Van Exel. He's held up in the backcourt by the hair. Goes around him, feeds the ball to Lynch. Back at the baseline is Smith. Six foot jumper, no good. Rebound is off taken by Harper. Length of court pass to Big John. He gives it to hair. Can you slam it, kid? Yeah, left handed. De hair is from Seton Hall. As a senior last year, he averaged 22 points in college. He made the Big East Conference first team three years in a row. That's pretty good competition. Yes, Stu. it is. Very good competition. Dribble drive Van Exel in deep. He's hit hard by Williams and scores anyway on about a 13-foot bank shot. I want to tell you, that little guy has got guts. Van Exel is 170 pound, and he went against at least 250 pound Williams. Now you talk about someone that wants to compete. That's Nick Van Exel. He wants to compete. He comes out. He works hard. He gets a very good shot to fall for him there. He gets the foul has another three-point opportunity. He's had a good rookie year, and he'll be awfully good, I think, next year, don't you? I think he's going to have a sensational yep. career. Yeah, I do too. Right, three-point play completed for his 19th point, 94 to 80. Grant with the ball. Grant's got the ball looking into John Williams, being fronted by Lynch. Lynch feels like a lightweight on John's back. Boy, John is a big kid. Backing in, backing in. Holds it up, turns. Can he shoot it? Three-footer, has to have a... Oh, he caught the fire rim and he got it. Rambus is yelling at the referee. And the referee says, hey, my job's hard enough, Kurt. It's been a long season. Leave me alone. I'm going to be doing some playoff games. Now, it's 96-80. Rambus said, I wish I was. Dribbling the ball, trying to split two men. Van Exel is foul, and the foul is on Gary Grant. Timeout is called by the Clippers. Well, we've got six minutes, 56 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. The Clippers lead it 96 to 80 on the Lakers Basketball Network. Their full line of cars and trucks by Great Western Family of Companies. Great Western will always be there. By Cole Filler Miller Genuine Draft. Get out of the old, get into the cold. And brought to you by American Express. Don't leave home without it. Sue Heeman is our floor director tonight. It's always great to have her. 96-80 the score, fourth quarter. Well, the Lakers walk back on the floor, and just body language sometimes can tell you a lot, and the body language that the Lakers have right now is telling me that they wish this season was over. Well, that's too bad, because the people in the various arenas, whether at the Forum or the remaining games on the road, pay big money to see them play. They are professionals, and they should be out there playing as hard as if they were leading the league by 10 games. I know it's hard, but that's the qualities of a good professional. Don't you agree? Totally. Nick Van Exel, two for two from the line tonight. He's a 78% free throw shooter on the year. Yeah. He's got a good stroke work for him tonight, both from the free throw line and three-point line. From distance, yeah. He's got 21 points tonight. Coming out of the backcourt with the ball is Grant. Gives to Harper, takes it in low to the former Crenshaw High School star, and that's William. Blot Rambus deflects a pass, it bounces over in the hands of DeHare, his 20-footer no good, Rambus gets the ball, throws it up in the front court to Van Exel. Van Exel to three at the baseline, doesn't try to shoot, gets to Van Exel, he'll shoot a three, it's on the way. That's no good, the rebound, Tony Smith. Smith at the baseline, gives to Van Exel, cutting underneath, throws it up, used his body beautifully to bend off a defender. And used his right hand, that's the way you do it. Use your body, get the contact, or else keep the defender from getting close to you enough to block the shot. In the last quarter, he's made all but four points for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now Harper's got the ball. 18-foot jumper, no good. The rebound is up. Van Exel gets it. He cuffs it in his wrist. He's down the middle with a dribble. He gives it over to Smith at the base. Now he, Smith throws it away to John Williams. His pass is to Grant. Grant comes up. Oh, look out. He was grabbed 
trying to stop the basket. Good play by Van Exel. I thought he was going to throw Grant on his back. And Ooh. had he not let go, he would have thrown him on his back. That would have been a flagrant two-plus the yep. basketball. Tony Smith's decision to try to hit the cutting Kurt Rambas, not a good one. Turnover sends it the other way. The Lakers are only down by 12. They could have converted that last time, a 10-point game. That would have forced Bobby Weiss to call a timeout as it's stands now he gets Dominique Wilkins back into the game and he gets Gary Grant to the line for two free throw is good they have shot 24 free throws and with that when they have made 15 the Lakers have shot 14 out of 19 Whoa, 19 free throws for the Lakers lately is pretty good pretty good yeah can you believe this score was 62 to 62 since then 36 points to 22 points I Van Exel with the ball to Smith. Smith dribbling out in front. 545 left to play. Rambus has got it. Backing in on Williams. Bounce the ball out in front. They're going to give Rambus an opportunity to go to the line if they're out of fouls, and they are. Two shots coming to Rambus. Rambus is saying, when was the last time that I got the ball at the low post and had to have a double team come down and stop me? And that's what happens here. Kurt Rambus has been operating at the low post, and John Williams had to have help. John's the guy that picks up the, uh, the foul. The Lakers have 14 points in this quarter, the fourth, but 10 of those are by Van Exel. Rambus has got 10 points and 7 rebounds. Make it 11 points. Got to tell him that we were good luck to him coming on the show. You know, they're only down 13, maybe 12 after this free throw, and there's still 5 minutes 42 to play. Yep. They could make a serious run at this. They sure could. Everybody out there is trying his darndest. 98-86. And that hasn't been the case with the Lakers all year. Magic was the one that uh, explained that, too. That everybody doesn't give his all. If you get tired, they'll take you out. Oh, ball into Wilkins. Forget it. He's underneath for the slam dunk. Lynch tried a steal. When he missed a steal, a kamikaze try. And down the smoke stack he went. Now it's um, 100 to 86. Dribbling in deep. Van Exel shot no good. Tipped in by Lynch. Well, Nick Van Exel doing a job on Gary Grant. Gary Grant is one of the yes. better defensive point guard in this league. Absolutely right. 188 is the score. Five minutes left to play. Can the Lakers pull a rally? Lynch has got 10 rebounds in the game. Here's Harper down the middle. Put it up and it's blocked by Lynch. Free ball off of Lynch. Lynch didn't know where the ball went and he stepped on it and kicked it out of bounds. And Rambus goes over and says to Lynch, nice try. Everybody loves the effort of Lynch. Doesn't he work hard? He works hard and that's the kind of thing you like to see in a player because it, it can become infectious for your team. Yep. All right, the ball with nine on the clock comes into Wilkins. Dribble drive, stop. 15-footer. Look at the poise. And he hits us. Boy, he took his time. Once he gets in the air, and as you said, he's up there long enough that he can take his time. Yeah, he just elevates and waits. And regroups. 102 to 88. Here's a pass inside for Lynch. Knocked away and out of bounds by Wilkins. He plays with great heart, fervor, desire, every minute of every game that he's on the floor. Nick Van Exel better call his own number, especially from three-point line. <laughs> <I'll say. laughs> All right. It's 102 to 88. Van Exel dribble down the middle. Van Exel in deep. Spins it up and gets it. Nice play. Similar to the shot that he beat Minnesota. Oh, with. boy. What a challenge. 102 to 90. Pretty good uh, pick for the 36 or 37. The seventh player chosen. Yeah. All right. 22nd timeout is taken, Stu. By Bob Weiss and the Clippers on the Lakers basketball network. Well, Ron Harper is uh, being attended to on that last defensive play that he tried to make on Nick Van Exel. He jumps, and Nick Van Exel's left foot accidentally hits Ron Harper and uh, hit him in the pit of the stomach area or somewhere, and uh, he, he doubled over a little bit. Nick he got Van Exel. The, that foot got him yeah. right in the groin area. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, but that play by Nick Van Exel was, again, very, very nice. Lakers down by 12, 4 minutes, 22 to play. All right. Uh, average 103 points a game this year. The Clippers have got 102 right now. The Lakers average 100 a game, and they are 10 away from that. All right, the ball to Wilkins. Wilkins got 37 points. Wilkins shoots a 20-foot jumper. Show that outside dexterity. No tip by Martin. No rebound to Rambis. Rambis gives the ball to Van Exel. He's coming with three to his left. Stops for the three-pointer. It's in and out. Rebound is up. Nice play by Lynch again. Puts it up left-handed and scores again. He's fouled. I'll tell you, if I was going to give the cup, the silver cup, to somebody for effort and play tonight, it would go to George Lynch. George Lynch has been everywhere tonight. That's why earlier in the ball game, I commented about how many number 24s are out there in blue because the Lakers' George Lynch 
is getting it done this evening. The 37 points by Wilkins, if you reported this, Stu, forgive me, I didn't. Uh, the 37 points is the most he's had as a clipper. No, I didn't report that. His career high is, uh, of course, 57. Lakers are down by only nine. We got 347 to play. You never know. Ramos will steal it. He does to Van Exel. Van Exel comes in deep, puts it up, blows it. Should have passed it. Yes, but he should have passed yeah, the I ball. Yeah, I thought so, too. Had a man wide open. Two shots coming. After the steal by Kurt Rambus, he's the guy that knocks it free. It's picked up by Nick Van Exel. He's got Tony Smith coming with him. He drops it off. Tony gets the shot. He takes it himself. He gets uh, the shot up there. He doesn't make it, but Kurt Rambus on the rebound attempt got, a, got fouled by Bob Martin. Rambus back to the line. Free throw no good by Kurt. Rambus this year shooting free throws at 64%. Tonight he's six out of seven. Seven out of eight. Wow, here's something I had forgotten. It comes from, uh, and here's the ball to Jackson. Let's cover that first. The ball goes into low to Wilkins. I bet you did too, Stu. Out in front, Jackson. Jackson's got the ball. Jackson holding it up. Jackson goes into Williams. Williams holds it, five and a clock. Turns, shoot, bank shot, a six. No, the rebound is off to the Lakers. They're down 102 to 94. Fourth quarter action. It comes over to three. Back to Smith. 20 footer. Looks good. It is good. Timeout. The Clippers. James Worthy in his career. And this is Worthy's 12th year. Has only had one game in his career where the coach, coach's decision, he didn't play. This will be the second on the Lakers basketball network. From Nick. Nick Van Exel is having a game. 25 points, 5 assists, 12 of his 25 have come in the fourth quarter. That's brought the Lakers to within six. In this quarter, Lakers have made 57% of their shots. The Clippers, 6 out of 14, 43%. 102 to 96, three minutes to play. The Lakers have the deficit, and the Clippers have the ball. With the ball, Jackson dribbling against Sedale three. Mismatch. They got big John Williams on Smith. Pick and roll. Jackson out of front with eight in the clock. Illegal defense. Technical foul. That's a bad one. Well, you've got the momentum going for you. You're down by only six now. You've got them really struggling, and you get a second illegal defense. That gives them a free a free throw plus possession. Oh, no, no. Second. It's a second. It's a free throw. Yeah. Yes. I was told it wasn't. I'm sorry. Free throw, 38th point for Wilkins. Now it's a seven-point ball game. And the reset on the 24. That was a bad... Yeah, that was a bad one. Yep. I right, waiting for the ball to come in. It comes out near the 10-second line to Jackson. Jackson yo-yoing up and down. Pushes the hand of three to away. Jackson still dribbling, using his rear end as an ally. Now he's still backing up to the three-point line. Comes out of front, gives the ball to Wilkins. He fires a three. It's not going to go. The rebound to Van Exel. Did he fall out of bounds? No! While going out of bounds, he hung in the air and gave the ball to Smith. Tight roll back. Beautiful. Now three to Smith. Give Van Exel that three-pointer. Dribble drive down the middle. Over to Rambus. Got his uh, season high tonight. Smith, a three. It hits the heel. No. Rebound volleyball by Rambus. He's flung to the floor. Now the ball underneath the Lynch. He scores! 103 to 98, 209 to play. Ah, they keep the excitement going. <laughs> nice play by Lynch underneath. I thought that three by Smith was in the juke. I thought the one by Dominique was going to go. Well, he makes you feel that way. Harper's 15-footer, no good, but he was fouled by Sedale, and Magic hops around like a bunny. Harper will be the free thrower. When we come back, to Dale three and the rest of the Lakers want to call the timeout. Magic wants to talk it over. You got a minute, 55 to play. The Clippers lead the Lakers 5-5, 103 to 98 on the Lakers Basketball Network. Clippers by five with 155 left to play. Susan Stratton directly producing for Channel 9. Frank Pollock for our radio network. Lynn Burr is doing her thing for television, and so is Chuck McKean. I don't have a list of people tonight. I'm sorry, folks, to give the credits, but you'll see them when we roll after the game. After the game also, only on radio, we will have a wrap-up show. So now, at the line is Harper. 
magic over there, as we showed you before. Being babysat by <laughs> Arsenio Hall. I mean, Magic Johnson, of course, is uh, on the bench trying to wish or wishing that Ron Harper would miss these free throws. With Coop beside him, Harper's free throw is no good. Harper always goes up to a free throw in a clutch situation like this and needles him and says, you can't make it, you can't make it. Well, Threat went by him just before he shot it and said, you can't make it, you can't make it. Six-point game. 104-98, 155 to play. Van Exel coming out of the backcourt with 25 points. Van Exel has had a fine game. His career high is 31 points. The Lakers got to start moving around, both the ball and the bodies. Don't stand around. Street for a three will be no, short. Rebound is off. Nice play by Lynch. Gives a three-point shot. It's good by Van Exel. Out of the corner. That's five three-pointers for him tonight. His career high is six. They strip the ball away. Martin chases it. Brings it back in front. The Lakers going to intercept it. It's a three-point game. Underneath the basket goes Street. Gives to Smith. Ten-foot jumper. It's a one-point game. 122 to play. Full court pressure. They almost stole the ball. <laughs> they're all over the place. That small lineup that their Magic has out there, Magic has them scrambling. Hi, the ball given off to Williams. Here he comes dribbling. Better stop him. Williams holds it up. Williams at the base to Harper. Pass broken up by Rambles. Taken by Lynch. They give the ball to Van Exel. Van Exel's made five three-pointers. Van Exel in the ball game. Magic's trying to signal time, and nobody sees him. Van Exel's got 28 points, and timeout is called. Listen to this crowd. The Clippers had a lead of 92 to 72. And since then, the Lakers have gone crazy. And the Lakers have made 21 points to the Clippers' eight. And the Lakers have the ball. The Lakers have a minute and one second to play, and so do the Clippers. And the Lakers look at the scoreboard and see themselves down, not by the 20 that they once trailed, but by only one, 104-103. Well, Nick Van Exel is the leading candidate again. He gets the ball after the missed shot by Fidel. George Lynch taps it out to him, and another three-pointer. That's what brought this to within three. And then after another turnover, Tony Smith gets the pass from Fidel. He knocks down the deuce. The Lakers trail by one. Then they steal the ball again. They have possession. 16 seconds left on the 24. Second clock, a minute and one on the game. He won't probably get his name in the paper, but he's going to get it on this broadcast. Kurt Rambis has played a very, very important part. And so has everybody else in this ball game. Now listen to this one. Eight. Not six, not seven, but eight times this year, Van Exel has had games of five three-pointers. Dennis Manishin. Wow. Well, I tell you something. If the Lakers were to score on this possession, you're going. To, the Clippers are already so tentative in what they're doing. You know they're going to run their offense through Dominique Wilkins coming down. You know the Lakers are going to double-team and scramble them. Who's going to be willing to step forward and hit the big shot for the Clippers? Lakers are slow getting out of their huddle. The most points the Lakers have come back from to win a ball game this year has been 18. As you mentioned, they were down 20 earlier this evening. Can they come back and win this? In the last nine minutes and eight seconds, the Lakers are on a 33 to 14 run. All right, the ball belongs to the Lakers. And with the ball, Smith will take it out of bounds. Smith will bring the ball in to Van Exel. Here we go. One minute exactly to play, but only 13 in the 24. I hope the Lakers remember that. 10 in the 24. Nine. Van Exel holds it up. Dribbling. Six in the 24. I don't know if they know the clock. He's down the middle. He's in deep. Alley -oop. No. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Wilkins. One second on the clock. Only one. The shot didn't hit anything, remember, so you didn't reset right. the clock. Nick ended up, when you have a point guard with that ability, you can have it break down and get a good shot. Rambus tried to shoot it. Now, the 24 had expired before the shot. And, well, maybe not before, but simultaneously. And since it didn't hit the rim, it's out of bounds. Defense was played by Dominique Wilkins. Blocked yeah. the shot attempt by Kurt Rambus. All right, now, we got 44 and a half seconds to play. Means the Lakers should have another possession. The Clippers have possession now on a one-point lead. Full court pressure. 
Ball brought into Harper. Harper in the backcourt give to Williams. They don't want it in Williams' hand back there. Now the ball pass up in the front court to Gary Grant. Grant holds it up. Brings it over here to Williams. They're going to run the clock down. 15 on the 24. Don't need a foul. Now don't foul. Front, they got the ball to Jackson. Jackson takes the ball with 7 on the clock. They give it to Williams. He drives on Lynch. Stop 16-foot jumper. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Lynch did everything but bite him. He was right in his jersey. Great play for his 40th point. I tell you, that was a shot under duress. George Lynch, it was 20 a second time 20 out. second timeout. 20 second timeout. 20 second timeout. The Clippers lead it by three on the Lakers Basketball Network. So a timeout remaining. Both the Lakers and the Clippers have one full timeout. Neither team has the 20. Full court pressure now will be applied by the Clippers. Lynch will take the ball out of bounds. Not going to have any trouble getting it in. Come to Van Exel. With, down by three. 25 seconds left. Van Exel front court. Can he get his six three pointer? Dribble drive. In deep. Puts it up. Bank shot. No good. Rebound is off. Knocked out of bounds. It'll go through the Clippers. The Lakers' plan was to get the quick basket and commit a foul, but it didn't work. Here's Jackson giving the ball to Wilkins. Beautiful, beautiful play. He is some kind of a player. My hat's off to him, baby. All right. Seven seconds left. Shot by Smith for three. No good. The rebound to Wilkins. They don't have to go to the front court. They're near the locker room. They win the ball game. Wow. What a finish. The Lakers pulled over them a point. Couldn't get it done because of Dominique Wilkins. And for the second time in his career, because of a coach's decision, James Worthy did not get in the game. Dominique Wilkins wound up with 42 points, 11 rebounds. He made 16 out of 30 field goals. It was an exciting basketball game. And the last time the Lakers have lost six in a row was last year, starting March 30th and ending April the 9th. That makes